Hello everyone and welcome back to day three of RPG A Day 2018. Today's question is, what gives a game staying power? If you've read any of my postings in social media, in Stargazer's World, when I post there in the blog, in my tweets, if I'm talking about staying power for the role-playing game as the experience a group pulls, up, pulls together and runs a campaign for a prolonged period of time, for me the answer is consistency. Uh, settling on a set schedule, we're going to play every week, every other week, every month. Set a schedule, set expectations, make sure you stick to your schedule, Sh show to your players that there's a commitment to what's going to be done, play even if people are absent, be consistent in your plan and stick to it. To me, when you're consistent and you stick to an, to an agenda, to a plan, to a set schedule for gaming, it creates a sense that this is not something that's going to be canceled out of the blue. We're all adults, we have complications, but the game is a, an, an event. We put aside um, this time for the game. We've all agreed that this is how we're going to play. And even if some people are absent, even if some people can make it, we're going to go through, we're going to play, we're going to be here. It's going to be our time to get together and enjoy this. So. For me, that's what gives a game staying power in terms of the activity of playing a role-playing game. If I'm talking about the role-playing game as a product, as a line, what gives a game staying power? Quality support. Let's look at two extremes. During the heydays of TSR, when all the golden age of campaign worlds were, was coming out, Ravenloft, Planescape, um, Dark Suns. There was so much support for the game, but at the same time, it was a deluge of games. If you wanted to keep up with all the campaign worlds, it was hard and you could barely play them. So that's great support, but that bit on the much. That's just too much to keep up with. Um, on the other hand, if there's a dearth of content, content, if you only get one supplement out a year, well, then for me, for me, I start losing interest. I want new content. I want new ideas. I really like the publishing schedule Wizards of the Coast has established for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. They put books out regularly, not so often, but there's quality in what they're putting out. And at the same time, through um, DMs Guild, I hope I'm not mangling the, the name. The online content, the online community where fans and third-party publishers can share content, it really gives you bits to play with and content you can look at and try out while at the same time waiting for the books that are coming out. So a well-supported system with a steady and stable support schedule with quality content. That's what, for me, gives a game staying power. For you, what gives a game staying power? I'd love to hear about it. Leave a comment uh, here in the blog or on the YouTube channel. Look me up on social media. Let's engage. Let's talk about it. Make sure you join the community and participate in RPG at Day 2018. Um, if you're seeing me wearing the same clothes, it's not that I have just one shirt. I'm recording a couple of videos um, a night to make sure I can meet my ambitious posting schedule so you may see me wearing the same shirt a couple days i assure you i'm not wearing it multiple days um that said hope you're having fun hope you're enjoying this um rpg day 2018 august and uh to those of you who are at gen con have fun make sure you share your pictures and your experiences that's all for tonight um enjoy see you tomorrow